said, deny yourself and follow me. I got to pray every day, Lord, please help me not be me. Help me to deny myself, God, so that I might know what it's like to walk in your presence, man. I don't want to have an emotional roller coaster with Jesus. I want to have a relationship with him. I want to have a I want to be walking in God's presence 24/7. I don't want it to to end and come and go when when I'm in church or I'm, I'm hanging out with some of the the, you know, the boys that love the Lord. It's like I, I need it to be always. It needs to be constant or you know, it just becomes routine religion. Now, I always think about Jesus knowing that the strongest of them all, the, the most, the, the hardest dude, bravest dude, denied Jesus three times with the guilt, the shame that he must have felt. Now, this is a guy that heard the voice of God, knew that this was the Son of God on the mountain, knew that this was Jesus, and still, when people came, even a little girl, a little girl that said, hey, weren't you with Jesus? No, not me. You got it all twisted. Even a little girl he couldn't, he couldn't face up to. Jesus says, do you love me? And I can just see Peter breaking down all the man that he is, the tough guy that he is, everything that he is, breaking down. And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. That's what's dope, man. Three times, all the arrogance went away, all the pride, thinking that you're somebody. And then Jesus said, then feed my sheep. It's like, it's when Jesus strips you down. And this is what's crazy. This is what Jesus is telling Peter. He said, most assuredly, I say to you, when you were younger, you girded yourself and walked where you wished. But when you are old, you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish. He's telling Peter how he's gonna die. He's telling Peter how he's gonna die. This he spoke signifying by what death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me, two words, follow me. After he told Peter, this is how you're gonna die. He didn't say your life's gonna be amazing and, and filled with all the riches in the world and, and all the luck and the stars and the moon. He said, you're gonna die. Now, do you wanna follow me? I'm not fooling myself anymore thinking that this is a song and dance of Christianity that's like, it's all bubble gum. It's like, it's not bubble gum. The gospel is not bubble gum. Those guys went they represented Jesus from what they knew, filled with the Holy Spirit, and ultimately, when the government and the religious came against them, died for it. That's true Christianity, man.